Hey there, LBT Squad. I'm your host, Alex Pop, and you're watching Episode 4 of The Road to LBT 14. We're gearing up for the new upcoming movie, The Land Before Time 14, Journey of the Brave, and I've certainly got some news for all you fans out there today. But before I get to that, I have one subscriber shout-out to give, and that is to Sean McIntosh. You are number 76. Thank you very much, Sean. I'm really glad to have you here. So yesterday, I came across some really juicy information on the Land Before Time 14 Journey of the Brave. We now know that the production of the film is complete. This means that all the animation is complete, all the scenes are... Uh, um, the scenes aren't all edited yet, but they are all completed, and all the voice actors have recorded their lines into the film. This information came from Andy McAfee, who wrote on her blog yesterday... We had a rap party last night, or rap part, as she writes here, but anyway, we had a rap party last night to celebrate all the hard work the cast and crew put in to make this movie look and sound as amazing as it does. So many people lent their incredible talents to this project. I'm posting a few pictures of the ones I was lucky enough to capture on my camera. So a few of those photos confirm a few details to us, mainly voice actors, so, let's see what we got. We have this one of Andy in front of a screenshot of the u Tyrannuses, standing beside Aria Noel Curzon on the left and Michelle Browerman on the right. Michelle Browerman has been the writer of the songs from all of the Land Before Time sequels, except for The Great Valley Adventure and Journey Through the Mist. And also, we have this one of Andy, Aria, Felix Avisha, and Scott White acting all cool, and also another of her with Aria Noel Curzon, again, and also with Miriam Flynn on the right. This confirms to us that Miriam Flynn is going to be returning to voice Grandma Longneck. It wasn't confirmed up until now, it was only speculated, but now we know for sure that she's returning. And also we have one of Andy, Aria, Felix, and on the left is Isaac Brown with his younger sister. With Max Burkholder, now a teenager, Isaac Brown is going to be the one to uh, fill his shoes as the voice of Chopper. So it looks like they're doing some colorblind casting. I couldn't find any uh, interviews or anything with uh, Isaac Brown, but uh, so I really can't say how he'll do with Chopper yet, but uh, who knows? For these and other photos, check out the link in the description to andy.com slash blog. We also have one more voice actor confirmed to us, and this was not confirmed by any of the photos. This was confirmed by Andy McAfee herself in the comments on the page. Someone asked if they plan on finding a voice for Ruby, and McAfee replied, Ruby will make an appearance and is voiced by her original VO artist, Megan Strange. Now, a few of my followers actually sent me a link saying that Megan Strange wasn't going to return to voice Ruby, but when I clicked on it, it didn't lead to anything. It was just a an error page. So I I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to let that information out on any of my videos until I knew for certain. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't at this point because we now have it confirmed to us that Strange is going to be back. So, it's really great to know that they're trying to keep the voice actors as consistent as possible. Andy McAfee included some other stuff on her page, including a way for us to be more up-to-date on details of the new movie, and also for uh, us to uh, give our thoughts on the movie. She writes, BTW, we have a hashtag for any post you want to post about the movie, now or any time in the future. Hashtag land before time. If I see any posts with this hashtag, I will try to like or retweet. One more thing that Andy wrote on her page is that the Land Before Time 14 Journey of the Brave is going to be out in time for Easter. Easter 2016 will be on March 27th, and DVDs are almost always released on Tuesdays. There are there are exceptions to that very occasionally. But for the most part, it's always on Tuesdays, so I'm predicting that the release date for The Land Before Time 14 will be either March 15th or March 22nd. But with production now complete, I can foresee that 
probably very soon we will be getting an exact release date as well as possibly a full list of the cast and crew of the movie. So I'm really looking forward to seeing those details and I cannot wait for this movie. In the meantime, starting November 18th, I will be starting my reviews on each and every one of the Land Before Time installments. So there is still time for you to leave a brief review in the comments with your uh, letter grade on an A plus to F scale. That's on the first Land Before Time movie, so if you want to see your review featured in my video, then submit it before November 18th. That's a wrap for now. Let me know your thoughts on all the details that have just been revealed to us. If you like this and you want to see more, slap the like button, subscribe for future videos, and follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Alex Pop. Catch you later.